Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So this week I'm going to make a cheese safe. Now it's not something to stop your cheese getting stolen, but it allows you to keep your cheese at room temperature without any bugs getting to it. You might say no one needs such a thing, and you're probably right, but I think it'd make a great gift for any cheese lover. I'm going to make it out of pine and the body's going to be made up of four frames. So first I need to get them ripped down. Then I can get a rebate cut in them to accept some wire mesh which I'm going to fit later on. Now all the strips are cut, I can get the mitre gauge set to 45 degrees and start cutting the parts out for the frame. So that's all the parts cut to make four frames. And I've got two lengths, 30 centimeters and 20 centimeters. Now I just need to get them joined together. And I've got some new clamps and these are some Collins spring clamps and they work fantastic. So now I can just get these glued and clamped up and left to dry. So I've got four identical frames made and all sanded down. Now I need to get some mesh put into this recess so I can use these frames as a template, get it drawn out, cut out with some snips and then I'm going to attach it using the staple gum. I want the cabinet to have a shelf, so I'm going to cut some batten down, fix it about halfway up either side so a shelf can rest on it. So this is going together as a box, but before I can get it all attached, I need to cut the bottom piece and the top piece. So I'm gonna get that done on the table saw, then we can start getting it glued and nailed together. I'm not going to attach the top yet as I want this cabinet to have a capping piece. So first I'm going to get that attached to the top, leave it to dry and then I can get it installed.
as all these panels were cut the same, the door fits in the gap perfectly, but I want a little bit of wiggle room so I can fit the hinges and it opens. So I'm just gonna run it through the table saw and trim a little bit off both sides. So before I get the door fitted with all the hardware, I'm gonna get some finish on this and I'm gonna go for some Treetex hard wax oil, which is food safe and shouldn't affect the color. The finish is dry on this and now I can get some brass hinges installed and get this door hung. Now, I was gonna put a little brass knob on to help be able to open the door, but then I found this little turn catch, so that's gonna to work to actually keep the door closed and give something to pull on to open it. So, I can get that fitted. So that's it all done. Now, I don't condone the caging of badgers. So I think this would be great for cheese and wine parties. So if you just bring the cheese and the wine, we can get started. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.